the end of World War II really quickly divided Europe into two different areas. One, a voluntary sphere of American influence, and two, an imposed sphere of Soviet influence. And these two competing camps became rival military alliances, basically staring at each other across a pretty tense border, here highlighted in white. There's no fighting in Europe, but these hostile relations between the two sides create what we consider a Cold War. In Asia, though, the end of the Second World War created a much more violent situation, with wars in Korea and Vietnam between communist insurgents and an alliance of local anti-communists and the United States. Uh, the Korean War ends with an armistice and <clears throat> a division of the country, but Vietnamese communists fought for independence from the French and then for national unity against the United States and the puppet, puppet regime that was imposed there. In many ways, this is a reverse of what we see in Afghanistan. As a communist regime comes to power in 1978 there, it faces widespread insurgency over its ideas about land reform, and keep in mind this is a Muslim country, over its ideas about women's rights policies. When the USSR sends in troops, the United States begins to send aid to Muslim rebels, and in the end, the USSR pulls out in the face of an ongoing guerrilla war, much like the United States had done in Vietnam. And many of the tensions that exist in Afghanistan today are the result of the United States and the Soviet Union vying for power and influence in that region. In Cuba, in 1959, Fidel Castro overthrows a dictatorship and launches a program that threatens the United States' economic interests. Because he has American hostility to the North, he drifts towards the USSR and declares his own revolution to be Marxist. And to protect himself in Cuba from an American invasion, um, he allies with the Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev, who sends nuclear missiles to Cuba. In response to that, President John F. Kennedy launches a blockade against Cuba, one that just ended very recently, uh, and a tense 13-day standoff that almost leads to nuclear war ensues. It's called the Cuban Missile Crisis, and I'm guessing most of you have heard of it. Despite that aversion, despite the fact that obviously we didn't have a nuclear war, the United States and USSR remain hostile, although coming to an agreement to avoid war in that scenario. 